Fabulous. Let's have a look and see if we're there. Here we go, live on Facebook now. Just loading. I feel like I'm ready to go. <laughs> Are we there? Live on Instagram and on Facebook. Oh, let's have a quick look and make sure I can see. Oh, there we go. Let's just... There. Oh, good morning, everybody. How are you? It's a bit chilly, isn't it? Um, all the ladies here, and me included, have got extra layers on today. Um, oh, I can actually see. We've got we've adjusted shelves now. I can actually see out the windows, which is rather nice. Um, morning, Linda, from a very grey London. Oh, no. It's actually, we're very lucky. The sun is shining. It was a beautiful, crisp, kind of hoar frost that lovely kind of white, like Jack Frost has been out with his paintbrush painting everything kind of morning this morning. And, um, and it was really lovely. Morning, Alison, how are you? It was nice yesterday. We saw, we saw proper wildlife yesterday, didn't we? Which? When we went on our, oh no, you didn't come. <gasps> no, we were walking. Normally, we go for a little walk at lunchtime and uh, we were walking past, up the lane, past one of the fields and there was about a dozen deer decided they were going to shoot across our path. And then the, the other, yesterday morning I was driving in and there was a buzzard just sitting on the post as I was driving past him, literally from me to you. I was like waving at this buzzard who was looking at me as if to say, yeah, what are you doing? It was really cool. We're surrounded by wildlife here. It's amazing. It's just beautiful and glorious and sunshiny, even though it's very cold. Um, morning, Pam. Murky, cold Wiltshire. Oh, no. Julia says, good morning. Really loath to take my brand new dressing gown off. Then don't. Keep it on. That's what I say. In fact, we've got it here today just because today it's cold. It does look beautiful out there at the moment. And I hope it, the sun shines where you are today. Um, but it's all about the kutch, isn't it? It's all about, I know I'm going to get my microphone, but it's all about kind of, you know, kutching up, isn't it? So that's what we've got. We've got kutch kind of fabrics today. Um, morning, Kirsty. Very frosty in Northampton this morning, but it seems to be cheering up now. I know it's lovely, isn't it? So we're going to go through some of the patterns. Obviously, we've got the new Titania robe, which is a joy and a bliss to make and wear. I am so desperate to get my sewing room sorted out at home. You would not believe the chaos that we're in at the moment. And I'm desperate to make myself one of these. Um, Oh, Shan's saying hello as well. That's brilliant. Um, but I really, yeah, it's all about the layers, isn't it? It's all about the cosy fabrics today. So we've got quite a few patterns that will work with the fabrics that I've got out today. Some of the fabrics you may have seen, some of them you may not. Um, this is a lovely, now if you need to be kind of kutch and a bit kind of cosy, but you still want to be comfy, Cordelia is a really nice one. Now this is the kind of three quarter lengths. It isn't that plunging and revealing. It does sit a lot higher when it's on a body to kind of fill it out a little bit. But this is a great one, actually. It's a really nice pattern, easy to make. Now, don't forget, there is the course for the Cordelia in the sewing studio as well, which is brilliant. So that will take you through everything step by step, including the lovely little twist that we've got here, which just sits in the right place, actually. This is, it was one of those really unassuming kinds of dresses. It doesn't look anything on the hanger, but when you put it on different people, it looks amazing. It really does. And it's perfect to wear with um, a snug t-shirt underneath. You can make a pair of leggings to go underneath it as well. So you're kind of building up all of those lovely, lovely warm kind of coach layers, which is brilliant. Um, Paulina, again, is another lovely one. Oops, let's move that around there which is our big kind of sweater, sweatshirt kind of dress, which is really nice. Um, and that's a lovely one to wear as well. We've got more comments coming in. Um, oh, Karen says overcast and seven degrees near Glasgow this morning. Janet says very foggy here in Windermere. The sun has totally disappeared. I'm sure it will be out. Wait until it gets a little bit higher. Hopefully it'll burn that mist and fog off. 
Um, Eva says you had a beautiful sunrise on the east coast of Scotland this morning. Oh, how gorgeous. There is something really lovely, isn't there, about just watching the sun come up, listening to the birds while you're outside. And it's just that kind of glow, glow kind of thing that just lights up. It's lovely, it really is. Sharon's putting up the links, which is brilliant. I can't actually get my words out today, as you probably gathered already. Um, it's one of those days, isn't it, really? What was it? Blue Monday yesterday, wasn't it? Apparently it's the miser most miserable day of the year yesterday. I felt miserable, well, grumpy, really, yesterday because my house is in turmoil. Everything is upside down, inside out and back to front. Um, we're doing lots of decorating at the moment. Um, morning, Amanda. A gloomy Kent. Well, hopefully the gloom will disappear and you'll get some of our sunshine come your way. Um, oops. They're coming a bit fast. Oh, Julia says, decided the only thing for today is my Julia in the double knit. Now that's cosy. Julia, I think you've got the right idea. Linda says, it's one degree and foggy in Oxfordshire. Um, Morag says, it's nice and mild on the Mull of Kintyre. Good morning, Morag. How are you? Thanks for joining us this morning. So, fabrics. Obviously, we've got the Julia and the Paulina. We've got Cordelia and we've got the Mechanicals here, which are our kind of loungewear base layers perfect for kind of getting nice and cuddly so fabrics the first one i want to show you is one of our quilted jerseys now this is brilliant we haven't been able to get any more of this unfortunately so this is the last that we've got of this fabric but i love it and it's perfect in a julia top because you've got the two different sides so you've got the little kind of crosses and diamonds and then you've got the stripes which is brilliant so this would work perfectly as a junior because you can kind of reverse the fabric for the neckband and cuffs which works really nicely it would also be perfect for a perdita as well actually or a regan sweatshirt if you wanted to go down that route you could also do it in for the quince cardigan oops knickers I'm wrecking the joint already. Look at that. There we go. Let's get that flute vest back up there. So Quince cardigan. Again, that's just going to go over everything that you wear, which is lovely. So it would make up in that as well. So this one is in, it's like a pink and raspberry kind of stripe, actually, which is really lovely. But again, it goes perfectly with our plain fuchsia um, art gallery jersey which is lovely so you can make yourself a pair of pajama bottoms or leggings out of this it's a gorgeous fabric all of our agf jerseys are such super quality and they wash brilliantly because let's face it if you're making or spending the time and the effort making something you want it to last don't you really um julia says my paula is none too shabby in that quilted fabric fantastic morning emma how are you Thanks for joining us this morning. Brilliant. Sharon's popped the link up there for the loungewear. Now, the loungewear only comes as a PDF. We don't have it as a printed pattern with instructions, but you can order it through our PDF printing service. So you can download all of the instructions and have those on your tablet or your laptop next to you as you're sewing. And we can print out and send you the pattern through our PDF printing service as well. So you can get the printed versions that way as well. This is, I'm trying to think of the colour, I think it is fuchsia, isn't it? Strawberry Kiss, there we go. Strawberry Kiss, no, doesn't that make you think of the summer? <laughs> Feels like Strawberry Kiss should be a cocktail or something like that, shouldn't it really? But that was brilliant. Now this again works really nicely with our Cherished Gatherings art gallery fabric. Now I've put it also with the grey. So this one is graphite cotton jersey all of them are art gallery and they kind of work together as well so you could have um like a drawstring in one color with a pair of pajamas or a little t-shirt the peas blossom again we haven't got it here but it would work really well um, a little flute vest which is a really nice quick easy project to do actually which is lovely so a little pink vest with a pair of um pajama bottoms in the cherished gatherings would look rather nice or even just a grey vest actually I think they all work really nicely together or a long sleeve t-shirt again 
they all work as base layer fabrics, which is fabria, fabulous, um, fabrious, fab, fabricus. That's what it is. I really can't get my words out today. So I'm going to move these out of the way just to show you some other ones. Let's get those. I do like this, actually. I know my, my luckily my daughter doesn't watch. She's far too busy. But I think a pair of pyjamas for her would be rather nice out of this. Um, once I get my sewing room at home, I can't wait. I will be able to do all kinds of different projects and I will be letting you know what I'm getting on with when I do get it up and running. Brilliant chance popping up all the links there. Lovely. So this one is sprinkled peonies. Now you might recognise this because we used it as our sample for the snout yoga pants. Which again, oh look, that's rather nice, isn't it? With the um, our lovely waffle cotton, that works really nicely. I like that. I like that too. There we go. So again, another art gallery fabric, super duper quality. We've got it here with is it Snow White? Yep, Snow White. Again, just a really simple plain cotton with 5% elastane, so it's got really good return. So I don't know about you, but I wear t-shirts under everything at the moment. Um, now we have got loads of stripes, which I showed you last week, but sometimes um, plain t-shirt is all you want, isn't it really? Just a plain white t-shirt, tuck it under something else, job done. And um, making up our snug t-shirt in the blue there is really straightforward. We've got it as a course in the sewing studio as well. Um, if you're not sure about working with Jersey, don't forget we've got the Love Your Overlocker course, which is fantastic. And that, once you've done that, will fill you, flood you with confidence in using your overlocker, which is really cool. Um, is the Cordelia course a standalone course or available in the Silk Studio? I think it's both, Claire. I know it's definitely available in the sewing studio. Um, I can't remember whether it's, I don't know, ask Sharon? Or is it, is, is it available? Can we get, is Cordelia available as a standalone course? I can't actually remember. I'm really sorry, but we'll find out and let you know. Don't worry. Um, oh, Jane says, I made some yoga pants in the peony. So comfy. I know. It's brilliant. And I love it with, what's it called? Nightfall moth-like shadows. There we go. I think the two of those actually work really nicely together. They have the same kind of colours. I can't remember whether they are actually from the same collection. I would have thought so, considering the fabrics look so nice, the colours work so well together. But those two would be a really nice little set that you could kind of mix and match as well, which would be lovely. Um, so again, such nice quality fabrics, they really are. I'm going to move these out the way so that... We've got a bit more space. Now, another fabric that I love, and again, it's just so comfy. It's our Slub Linen Jersey. Now, this is gorgeous. It has got a texture to it. But again, it's a really nice one. So it's actually, oops, let's get that out of the way, but not that, knocking everything down. So it's the same fabric that we've made in the Julia top, which, is gorgeous. I love it. It's so nice. And again, it goes perfectly with, what's it called? Calico Days. There we go. I should remember. But aren't they lovely? The two of those together. And again, this would look stunning with, oh, look, pink waffle cotton. I like that too. That's nice. Yes. Lots of things you could do with this. Lots of things. Oh, morning, Maria. So you're late. Don't worry. We're here. We're not going anywhere. Not until about 12 anyway. Um, oh, try, Jane, had, Jane said, try to order the butterflies, but only had a metre. We've definitely got more than a metre, Jane. Give us an email and tell us how much you want and we'll get Sharon to sort that out for you. So no, no worries there. Um, Sharon's popped up the links. Oh, fabulous. So there we go. Sharon's answered the question about the Cordelia. 
both available in the in-depth course if you're a silk stu a sewing studio silk member that's a tongue twister isn't it or it's a standalone course that you can buy and have forever so either way you can make up your own cordelia so that's perfect brilliant that's good lovely now look aren't they nice i love this kind of slightly mauvey pink which i think is beautiful it goes really nicely with our cable knit jersey now again this is the last one that we've got of this i'm hoping we're going to get some more in we've got reps coming to see us now which is really good and uh we have got some more fabric orders on their way i love this sharon's actually wearing it today she's wearing her julia top today that she's made a bit longer which is dead easy to do um, and I think this is a really gorgeous one as well lovely and it goes perfectly with our denim and heathered grey rib which is a really nice one to put together actually I like that that's quite cool so oh now that's nice actually so this is a viscose. So this is one of the fabrics that we brought in for the pyjamas. So it's the other colourway to the one that we've got in the blue there. Now this actually goes really nicely. Oh, I like that. Pyjama bottoms and a nice Julia top to go with it. I think that'd be a nice combination. Lovely. That works really nicely, actually. I wonder if we can put that with that. Oh, actually, I don't think that goes too badly at all, does it? I'm looking at it now in the screen just to see what it looks like. A little bit of a delay. Actually, that works, I think, yeah. So this is the magenta version and we've got the teal on the stand there that we've made the pyjamas in. Both work brilliantly, actually. And I think they're kind of pretty universal, to be honest. Um, so I think they'd either do for blokes or girls or anybody in between, to be perfectly honest. Um, and I think that's a really good combination. I'm gonna put that one up there. So that's, I have to try and remember where we took them out of in the mornings because otherwise Sharon would tell me off if I'm not putting them back in the right place. Um, oh, Anne says, morning from Warwick, out of bedroom isolation. <gasps> so excited to get back to the sewing machine. Oh no, you're another person who's been stuck at home quarantining. Oh, it's just, hopefully we'll be out of this one day soon, but who knows? It's a real pain, isn't it? But I quite like, them. there we go. I'm looking at fabrics now. That's what we need to think about. That's the positive thing, isn't it? Now we've got, oh, I'm gonna peek those together in a sec. Let's move these out of the way. So actually, when we were choosing fabrics this morning, we were kind of thinking, what should we go with? Um, not quite sure what we're gonna to do today because we never know, really. You'd think that this was perfectly planned out but it actually isn't. We wing it totally. I come in in the morning and say to Sharon while I'm having a cup of coffee, what should we talk about today then? <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, what fabrics have we got? <laughs> so nothing planned at all, I'm afraid. Um, oh, morning, Sue, from sunny Portugal. Very nice, very nice. I, um, I don't know, what's the, what are the rules at the moment for traveling? Do you have to quarantine when you come back in? I don't know. To be honest, I haven't actually been anywhere for ages so i wouldn't know where i'm supposed to go or what i'm supposed to do actually <laughs> but if you're enjoying the sunshine then that is a wonderful thing and that's what it's all about really isn't it so more fabrics this is our lovely pink waffle now we've got other colors and we have more of them as well so these are different other kinds of options that you might want to think about now this actually if you didn't want a big full robe of it you could make it up into the quince cardigan so it's a little bit of a shorter one just a kind of quick throw on kind of thing which i think would work really nicely as well so this is the teal paisley that we've made our pajama and gown combination in just to remind you of what we've made but equally i think these are rather lovely too now this is really nice they're both viscose so they are a natural, they're kind of natural fibre, but they're man-made, but they're not synthetic, if you see what I mean. They're both viscose, 
which is kind of reconstituted plant-based fibers, cellulose, that kind of stuff. But I think these are really pretty and they go together really quite nicely. We've got another color way for this as well, which I'll show you in a bit um, when we come to it. Oh, no quarantine, just a two day test. Oh, that's okay. I don't even know how that works anymore. How long are you supposed to stay isolated for? Is it just like, you know? It's changing so much. I know, so. who knows? Just don't go anywhere. Don't meet anybody. <laughs> don't socialize and then we'll be fine, won't we? <laughs> what a nightmare, eh? Um, I really like these and I think these would make up beautifully into um, pyjama bottoms. In fact, you could make whole pyjamas out of those and I think that would work really nicely. Um, and then put it with um, one of our lovely sweatshirty fabrics, just to kind of as a, an overthrow or a, you know, a Julia top or a Paulina that you can just bung over the top just for that extra kind of squidginess, which is rather lovely. So we've got blue and pink spot. That's original, isn't it? Maybe we need to give them some, I don't know, Doris or I don't know, whatever, better names for them or something. And this one, she says, trying to find the label. She'll to stick it up in a minute, won't she? Um, blue and pink daisy. So we've got blue and pink spot, blue and pink daisy. And they go actually really nicely with our blue waffle knit, waffle cotton. What colour have we called this then? Again, Sharon will stick it up in the link, I expect, in a minute. Let's see. There we go. She's put all the links up for the fabrics. That's brilliant. And we've got the Rosalind pyjamas as well. Brilliant. I'm trying to think. Well, it's more like a kind of a cornflower blue, isn't it? Or a chalky blue. Anyway, this is a small roll, but we have got more. I didn't want to put big ones on the table. Um, but this, I think, is a lovely colour, actually. And again, it's kind of pretty suitable for almost anybody, really, um, which I think is rather lovely. It's a sky blue, there we go, that's what it's called. Sky blue waffle cotton. Waffle, I'm good at that, waffling. <laughs> Just talking rubbish, really. <laughs> Very good at that. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's move that one out the way. I'm trying to find some space to put everything. Everything and everything. Actually, that's a band, did you know that? Useless piece of information. There was a band called Everything Everything who supported Snow Patrol many years ago when I went to see them. There we are. That's your useless piece of information for the day. Right, more fabric because I know that that's what you're interested in rather than my waffle. So let's push all of these up the end. Oh, let's get rid of that. Bit of fluff. There we are. So, slightly different colourway, but again, we're kind of looking at the cosy kinds of fabrics. Now, I love this. This is a cotton lawn, so you might not necessarily think of it as being cosy, but it is absolutely perfect pyjama fabric, absolutely gorgeous. And I think if you did some white piping on this, it would look stunning. So you could use some of our white linen, or if you've just got a bit of white cotton fabric, I think that would work brilliantly. Or even navy, navy piping with that would look quite good as well, actually, wouldn't it? That would work. Either way, I think you're gonna end up with a very, very sophisticated pair of pajamas if you made it in our Casablanca paisley cotton lawn, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. So that's another really nice one. Now, back to Cordelia. Again, it's a really lovely dress. Some of the printed AGF fabrics that we've got here, both of those two are really lovely. Now I've just put those two together because I thought this is gonna pick out the red. So we've got a lovely red stripy snug t-shirt to go underneath your hazy, no, which one is this? This is, yes, it is hazy daisies. Yes, I thought so. There we go, so hazy daisies with a bit of bright red. I don't know, it always kind of looks a little bit, a bit, bit sea salt. What do you think, yeah? <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing again. 
because all this talking, you see, I'm not used to all of this. Um, but I think that would work really nicely. Now, another one for a Cordelia, this would be amazing. Again, all you want is a pair of lovely red tights, some boots, and I think you're sorted because, again, it, you're still feeling comfy, but you're looking a little bit smarter. And again, this is great if you're still working from home and you're having to do Zoom meetings. <coughs> Excuse me. So you're smart enough, but you're still comfy because you're in Jersey. That's the answer. Wear knit Jersey fabrics all the time and you won't go wrong. This one is Fruteria Blur. Now I quite like this actually. It's a larger pattern. <coughs> Excuse me, but it does work. And the nice thing is if you were making Cordelia up in this, because you've got quite large skirt panels, you're gonna see more of the print actually, which was gonna work really, really nicely. There we go, so that's another art gallery fabric. We've got oh, so many nice ones. Let's move that up there out of the way. Oh, another fabric I really like is this kind of reverse French terry. Now, it looks boring on the right side because they've printed on the wrong side. Now this is rather lovely actually, and it has a really nice drape to it. <coughs> it's probably a bit too heavy for a Cordelia, but this would be perfect in a Paulina actually. And I think this would look stunning as a Paulina dress with a nice pair of navy tights, snag tights obviously, because those are the only tights that anyone should ever buy. Um, but I think this lovely little kind of tulip shape is really pretty. Equally, it would work as a, a Julia top. Um, you could have it as um, a quince cardi as well, actually, if you wanted to, just over a plain navy or a plain blue top underneath it or dress. That would work really nicely. It's called French Terry Print Tulips in blue and grey. We've also got it in another colourway as well, which I think is another really nice one. Now, also, I think it would work with our heathered grey and navy striped rib too and I think that would be quite a nice little combination there. We have got plain coloured ribs as well and we've got more coming in so do have a look at those. Brilliant, Sharon's popping up all the links. Marvellous. We have got some competitions coming out so do keep an eye out for those. <coughs> They're coming in the next couple of weeks so just keep your eyes peeled. Oh gosh, who was it that used to say that? Oh, Sean, somebody. No, wasn't it? I don't know. Who was it that used to say that? Keep them peeled. It was like this kids thing. No, it's way beyond your time, Matilda. This I'm talking when I was little. So that was when Adam was a boy. Um, oh no. Let me know. Can you think of who it was? It was like a police program where they were kind of like telling you to kind of stay safe and. Um, he used to say that, keep them peeled. I can't remember who it was now. You'll know. Tell me who it was, because I can't remember. I'm having brain fade today. What are they talking about? Are they talking upstairs? No, they're not. I wonder whether they were saying it upstairs, but they're not. I can't hear them. It's fine. Um, this is a really beautiful double knit. Now, again, it has that kind of slight contrast on the wrong side, and it's lovely and soft and fluffy on the outside. A beautiful kind of soft tealy colour, which I think is really, Shaw Taylor, Sue, thank you. Thank you, Amanda, Shaw Taylor. That was it. What was their programme called? It was Police Five or something like that. Crime Watch, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sharon says Crime Watch. No, it wasn't Crime Watch. It was way before Crime Watch. Um, yeah, Shaw Taylor, yes, that was it. Gosh, showing my age now, aren't I? But there we go. Um, yeah, so keep them peeled on social media because we have got more competitions coming around. Um, Julia Droy, morning, Julia. How are you? Hope you are doing well. Morning, Debbie. Ah, Debbie. Events overtook me yesterday, but I'm free later on this morning. Give me a, send me a message if you're still free and we can have a chat, which would be fantastic. Um, you're watching at the vets. Oh, poor doggies. Police Five. Yes, Julia, it was Police Five. 
oh, there you go. Anyway, this fabric hasn't got a huge amount of stretch to it, which means it's perfect for something like the Paulina or the Julia top. And again, the color is so lovely. Everybody can kind of wear teal, can't they? It just goes with everybody, all kinds of different, you know, colors and skin tones. I think that's lovely. I'm gonna move that one back out of the way now. Although it is gonna go with some of the others that we've got coming up. This one, I kind of just wanted to kind of throw into the mix because I love it. And it just reminds me of the all of Kylie kinds of prints, which I think is really lovely. Um, oh, Julia says, I've had some of the pink waffle, gorgeous fabric. I know, it's so nice, isn't it? It really is lovely. This is another one. And I just think it's just, it's happy fabric, isn't it? It just wants to, just wants to make you smile. There we go. I want to turn it around the other way, actually, so you can see the, that's it, that's better. So the fabric, so the flowers aren't upside down. There we go. Again, I think this would just rock it as a, a Julia top. Really easy, just sling it over. Perfect for if you're on the beach or anything like that, which hopefully it'll be warm enough to do. Although I did go down to the beach last week, which was rather lovely, dropping Seamus off. And I very nearly didn't come home because it was just so glorious. Um, but this works, I think, with our lovely orange ribbing. So that would be a really cool little combination, actually. Just a nice little contrast. It would work. This is more turquoise and this is teal, but I think you could get away with it, actually, putting the two together on screen. It looks OK. So I think that would work, too. There we go. Oh, beaches. I keep thinking, my daughter keeps, she's down in Brighton. She keeps sending me photos where she's like down on sunset, watching the sun go down over Brighton Pier. And I'm very, very jealous. Do you guys have a favorite beach? Where do you go when you go to the beach? I know I've got a few of my kind of little favorites that I tend to gravitate towards. Um, it depends on where you are. Years ago, we used to go to Pevensey Bay down in uh, Sussex which was where, um, very close to where the Battle of Hastings used to be, Normandy Bay, Pevensey Bay. And we used to go to, there was a little was it a shop or a pub or something that was supposed to be really, really haunted. And it used to terrify the life out of me when I was probably about seven or eight. Um, but that was one of the places we used to go on holiday when I was a kid. Um, I think my sister still goes down there. There we go. I must admit, I do like some of the Cornish beaches, obviously, and uh, some of the Welsh ones, Pembrokeshire, around there. You can't get better than a bit of dramatic coastline, can you, really? There we go. Let's pop this one away. <gasps> Goring Gap! Oh, yes, Goring. Now... Have you been to the not yet world famous Sea Lane Cafe in Goring? That used to be, or is still actually, one of my favorite places on the planet. Um, the kids used, and I used to spend a lot of time up there and it was lovely, it really was. You could have like fish and chips or you could have lobster and champagne. It was like two totally different extremes. It was a really weird place, but it was lovely. Oh, Hockham Beach in North Norfolk, Elaine. Norfolk isn't a place I know very well. Um, we did go for my 50th, actually. We had uh, a weekend away with some friends. And I'm trying to think where it was. Brain's gone, see? I'm totally... I'm screwed now. It's not going to be a good day, is it, if I can't remember where I went for my 50th birthday. Um, Jackie says, yes. Oh, yeah. Jackie, many years ago, when the kids were tiny tots, we lived in Worthing, and um, we used to have, I used to have a lovely three-wheeler buggy, and with a little buggy board on the back, so Seamus would be on, standing on the back of the, of the buggy board, Orla would be in the buggy, and literally, she got a hat on, her thing, and you could see about that much of her, and I would run all the way along the seafront to the Sea Lane Cafe, we'd have a hot chocolate, and then run all the way back again and pick Seamus up after nursery school. Those were actually some of my very happy memories of Worthing. I have lots of fond ones of living there. So yes, we must go back, must go back. Enough of beaches, well, not enough of beaches. We used to go to Newquay, ooh, Hunstanton, says Julia, yes. 
Oh, this is good. I'm getting some tips now for lovely beaches. Um, one of my favourites is Pembryn in um, Cardigan, near Cardigan actually, which is gorgeous. And there's the Secret Beach as well, which um, CL, yeah, <laughs> had a bit of a heart attack trying to get to. Um, it, you do have to be part human, part mountain goat to get there, but it is amazing. It really is. Um, oh, bye Linda. Thanks for joining us today. We'll hopefully see you another time. Um, more sweatshirty kind of fabric. I love this. This is such a pretty one. Again, it's a French terry, so it has got a little bit of looping on the back, which is perfect. And it's fairly stretchy as well, which is quite a nice one. Um, I love all of the colours in this, again, because it means that you can kind of mix it and match it so with so many other colour fabrics, which is brilliant. I've put it here with our chartreuse sweater knit. And I think actually that looks rather lovely. It just picks out all of the kind of yellowy ochre colours in the butterfly there, which I think is really pretty. Oh, Sharon's popping up links, so that's good. Fabulous. Now this would make up, and I'm trying to think what we've got actually, we've got the yellow. That would work with it. That would be quite nice, actually. We've also got the teal as well, the teal rib that would work with this, um, with our lovely butterflies sweatshirt fabric. Um, I think that would work really nice, actually. That would, this would make up perfectly in a Julia, or um, a Regan top would be really nice in this. Just a little sweatshirt to go over a pair of jeans with a nice kind of long line cardi on top, which I think would be perfect. Keep that over there. Now this also, I think, this is our green and gold spot. So this is similar to the blue and the pink that we had a bit earlier. Now we've got the daisies as well, actually, which is rather nice. This is a little bit cooler. I think that works really nicely with the, um, what color is it, teal, super soft. But that's rather nice, isn't it? So again, you could, knock yourself up a pair of PJ bottoms in this. And even a Julia top out of the sweater knit actually. And that would give you a really nice little kind of outfit to curl up in front of the fire watching the latest Netflix box series, whatever you're watching, whatever you're binge watching at the moment. <coughs> We've just got into, um, actually it's not Netflix, it's Disney, The Book of Boba Fett. Oh, if you're Star Wars fans like we are, then this is really cool. So it's kind of like on next steps on from The Mandalorian, but unfortunately they're only doing one episode a week, which is really annoying. So we're having to wait until it's all done. Do you do that? Do you watch everything week by week or do you binge? Do you save it all up and then just have a massive session watching whatever you want to watch? I must admit, I prefer doing it that way. I get really impatient because you want to find out what's happened, don't you? But there we go, maybe that's me. Maybe that says more about me and my impatience, perhaps. Um, oh, Linda says, Alnmouth, Northumberland was your local beach many years ago, then Hailing Island in Hampshire. Oh, I know Hailing Island. Not been to Alnmouth in Northumberland, though. Some nice ideas here. I'm going to have to make some notes. So this is a lovely one. Again, and it goes with the daisy. But I'm going to put that together with another of the fabrics in a sec, actually. Um, this is a really lovely one. It's called Shaw Remains. And again, it's got that beautiful kind of ochre in it with a teal background. This would be amazing for a Cordelia. And then with a lovely long line quince cardi over the top, again, you're feeling really kind of kutch and comfy, but you're looking kind of pretty smart and switched on and stuff like that as well. Not too slouchy in my PJs kind of thing, but you're still wearing those lovely comfy fabrics, which I think is really important at the moment. If you're like me, and I'm still trying to get rid of my Christmas podge, I think I didn't eat my entire body weight in chocolate, but there we go, it can't be helped, can it really? It's got to be done. Um, Jersey is very forgiving, and I think it's a rather nice combination, actually. I think that would work. Those two, actually, I do, I really like those. That's rather nice. It also works, I think, with the teal, but I just think the chartreuse just gives it that edge really, doesn't it? Which is rather nice. Let's move that out the way.
Now again, this would probably work with the daisies actually. There is a little hint of yellow in there, but I think this definitely works better with, oh, that's nice. It's like minty fresh, isn't it really? It does remind me a little bit of toothpaste. Probably I shouldn't say that. I don't want to put anybody off, but I quite like that whole kind of feel really. Oops. Brilliant. There we go. All the links coming up there. That's lovely. Let's move that one out of the way. Now this is beautiful. This is a real proper Cordelia fabric. This is North Star Serene and I love it. It's like a kind of, it is a dark grey, but it's almost like a mouse grey. So it has that little kind of undercurrent of brown in it but the two of those together I just think are really lovely so again a Cordelia um, with a nice um, quince cardigan over the top would be a really lovely combination actually or you could just make pajamas let's face it you can make pajamas out of anything really can't you <laughs> and that just works but I think that would be lovely so I like those two as well actually let's move on now Oh, I should have put, actually, oh, I should have put this. Now, this is a new colour of the waffle cotton, which came in. Now, I think, actually, that would be rather nice. Look at that. That works, doesn't it? Sorry, you're going to have to zoom. Yeah, but... <sighs> Don't worry. It's more the colours, as long as we can see the colours, I think that would work. So this is the new waffle cotton. And I think that again works really nicely with the North Star Serene. So a lovely pair of pyjamas in that would be perfect. And then a nice big kutchy kind of dressing gown over the top would be lovely. So that's left us with our lovely little kind of grey and white and yellow section. So this is the other colourway to the French Terry that's the navy. So again, it's just got plain grey on the back, but it has a really cute little yellow tulip print on the front and it goes perfectly with our yellow rib as well. So that works really nicely. And I think that's lovely. Now this, I have to say, is one of my favourite fabrics at the moment. It is so soft. It's a double knit in a really soft grey. I could almost actually just have this as a scarf because it's just so lovely, it really is. But this would be perfect for a Julia top. You could make a Paulina out of it actually and have it much more as a drapey kind of shape which would work really nicely. I think that's lovely. In fact, I've just bought myself a big long jumper dress um, purely and simply because I just haven't got the time all the space at the moment to make anything but I'm seriously thinking about taking a pattern off of it and making it in something like this actually because it would be lovely that's so and it's so so soft I wish we had feely vision I really do we've also got the fleece back sweatshirt which again we've got more colors of this coming in which I'm going to show you in the next week or so um, but it has such a soft fleecy back to it this as a pair of um, yoga pants I think would be amazing or just as a pair of joggers or um, you could even do a pair of Nell trousers just in sweatshirt fabric actually which would just be gorgeous that would work so nicely and of course we've got the dark grey waffle cotton again we have more of this um, this is just a little roll that we've got um, and again this kind of goes with everything really so you can just throw it on over whatever pajamas you've got whatever t-shirt or shorts or anything like that, just to kind of throw over everything. And we've also got the white left. So again, a white robe. It's very indulgent, isn't it? It's very kind of white company. I'm going to go and stay in a boutique hotel kind of thing. I think I'm definitely going to be making one of these. We're actually having, my house is tiny. It really is, it's a tiny, tiny little terrace house. And we're having the whole thing painted white white floorboards, white walls, everything. Um, the only thing that's not white is the doors. So I can pretend that I'm in a lovely kind of uh, white company style boutique 
and I'm going to make myself one of these, I think, when I get my sewing room sorted eventually. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, I'm so excited. I'm actually going to have somewhere to sew at home, which will be really, really lovely. So I'm hoping today that we have shown you a few fabrics that you might want to think about putting together. We've given you some inspiration. It is all about being you know, cooched and cuddled up. I'm going to be wrapping myself up in my scarf as soon as I finish this. Um, it is a bit chilly. Oh, don't forget, actually, a couple of the girls upstairs have got hot water bottles. I know, it really isn't that cold. I keep saying to them, go out into the car park and do some star jumps. That will warm you up. But they don't listen to me. I don't know why. But there we go. If you are, Julia, how's my kitchen? Julia, it's almost there. It's only taken nearly seven months okay seven months to get my kitchen sorted if you're doing any kind of renovation work whatsoever do not touch b and q with a barge pole that's all i'm going to say um i was going to say something else and i completely forgot what it was brain fade <laughs> brain fade or more coffee that's what i need um oh brilliant chance popped up the titania robe there to talk to i can't get my words out today titania not titania anyway um Stay warm. Hot water bottle, that was going to, what I was going to say. If you are thinking about making your own hot water bottle cover, don't forget we've got the project in the sewing studio as well. And it's a lovely one. Um, we've all got hot water bottle covers at home because it's just quite nice to just, again, sit cooked up with a potty on your lap, isn't it, really? Um, it's all about staying warm because, let's face it, that's what we're going to have to do over the next couple of months. Although it's not long. I keep counting the days down before we put the clocks forward. I know I shouldn't wish my life away, but I am. Um, it is cold. <laughs> she says Sharon's like, she's freezing. You should see her upstairs. She's got a blanket. She's got a hot water bottle. She's got a big poncho on. She'll be wearing a bobble hat at her, at her desk soon. I think she will, but never mind. Um, we'll go for a walk and warm up at lunchtime. And I hope you're able to stay warm where you are too. Look out for the competitions and we are still looking for people who are quite happy to be photographed in um, some Sew Me Something patterns as well. So let us know if you're interested in that. We've got a competition running at the moment for Sewing Studio Silk members. So do have a look. And if you are a Silk member, there is a Facebook group just for you. So make sure you join that as well and you can find out all the other things that we've got going on for our Silk members there. Stay warm. Enjoy the frostiness of the weather and hopefully we'll see you next week. Take care.